Good morning, everyone. It's me, Rhea, just popping on with my message for today. Uh, Caleb is not with, uh, with me this morning. He started classes, actually, so he's going to be gone during the week doing his classes. Hopefully, he'll pop on every now and then when he gets a chance. Um, so I just wanted to get my message in before I go do my workout. I like, it like sets the tone for the day, helps me to connect to my heart, gives me a little focal point, whether I'm doing Gaia's guidance through um, my heart cards or if I'm just randomly picking a, a paragraph out of um, losing my religion. So that's what I've decided to do is just um, ask for guidance for the paragraph that needs to be heard. Um, it gets a little mundane and monotonous and a little bit boring for me <laughs> to read like <clears throat> paragraph to paragraph to paragraph. So I thought it would be just kind of fun to ask for guidance to choose the paragraph that resonates with me and whoever happens to watch this. So I just ask for a higher self, higher guidance, the highest resonant frequency to bring forth the paragraph that we need to hear for today. Because we're really not in, <clears throat> in a linear time. It's something we create as humans. So I think it's kind of fun that we just bounce around and take from the multi-dimensions, different realities, different dimensions, the information that we need. And just kind of intuitively picking a paragraph randomly is kind of the same thing. It's kind of um, becoming an alignment to that because we're not always in the 3D. Sometimes we're bopping on 5D, 6D, 7D. Um, we're bopping around to different dimensions and we're getting what we need from each level. So I'll just read the paragraph for today that my finger was drawn to. And what it says is, it is easy to surrender to the moments that bring pleasure, joy, and contentment. Surrendering to unpleasant moments are more of a challenge, but bring great reward. When you stop struggle, struggling with the moment and trying to resist it, but instead accept it with trust, you release a power into it that can transform that irritant into a balanced, pleasurable energy into your life. I personally have struggled for years with living in the moment with my daughter who has emotional and learning challenges. She resists a lot of things in life, but she is not easy to rationalize with. Instead of fighting her irrationality and resisting who she is, I must surrender to it in order to bring about peace. My body would automatically respond by tensing up when she would come to me. She is usually very needy or very angry. I have conditioned myself to respond like that after years of not being able to control her emotional behavior. Instead of focusing on the moment and remaining present, I was already worried about the future. I was already creating the conflict within myself and therefore creating it in reality. My body was already responding to what my mind was telling it. And I believe she too has been conditioned to act out in her own ways from years of not being heard, understood, and accepted for, learning, for her learning disability and emotions. Her, in her mind, she is already anticipating my reaction to her. It was a vicious cycle between us. I'll just finish this. I'm not, so, <clears throat> so what I learned from all this was, I'm not supposed to change her. This, this is an extremely challenging, the most challenging lesson in my life, up to that point. Of course, all needs balance. I can't let her be abusive to anyone, but if she feels accepted for who she is, she won't fight as much to establish who she is. To take that to a further step, a further step, when people can't get along and feel repelled, it is due to unbalanced energy, why they don't feel accepted for who they are by others. People can lie, but energy never lies. Energy is felt at a conscious and unconscious levels. We would not feel the need to prove ourselves to others if it was not for this unbalanced energy. To diffuse conflicting energy and to bring it into balance, we must bring ourselves to the moment and accept it and trust for what it is. We must learn to speak calmly and listen to others with trust and release the intent for peace. As opposing 
forces are brought into balance like yin and yang, not only are our lives transformed, but so is the world. The fine line of balance between the yin and yang is the moment wherein lies the power that changes all. So um, these paragraphs were just making reference to me having to learn to surrender. You know how life gives us what we need in order to grow, in order to become a truer expression of who we are? We chose circumstances before we came in order to have that experience. And I, as a mom and Chantel, we chose each other, my daughter, and um, she was my first child and I, it was the first time me being a mom and I was fairly young, you know, early 20s. And she was born, I don't wanna say different, but back then different, she's uh, 28 now. And I didn't know how to deal with her. I've never been exposed to um, uh, children with autism or, you know, learning disabilities. I had a very hard labor. Her cord was wrapped around a couple times. The doctor kept saying it was okay. It was normal to be in such a long labor for your first birth. And mine was like for days. <laughs> and um, so the oxygen, I believe, was cut off to her brain. And then wh whatever, whatever the circumstance, I know she chose this. But, uh, but uh, initially it was hard for me as a mom because I wanted to fit her into that perfect little box that you think you're going to have this child when you think of children, at least back then, 20-something years ago. Things were a little bit different. Asperger's wasn't as known. Autism wasn't as prevalent. So, and, and learning disabilities on top of it. So it was a great, great learning for me for in every child that I had thereafter to break, to break out of those barriers, to break out of that box. To know she is, the greatest lesson was for me to know I did not need to change her. She was exactly as she should be. And I know this seems really obvious now. And I think we have evolved as a society into greater acceptance and greater surrendering of people being different, kids being different, everybody on their own path. But 25 plus years ago, it was a little different. It was more new. And as a younger mom, you've got these ideals in your mind. So that paragraph was just saying, hey, things are as they should be. Surrender, don't fight it. Because we were at a, we were in a dynamic where I was trying to make her something she wasn't, but my mind thought she should be, or what I was trained to think I needed to be as a mother for my child, which has totally been broken down now. You know, it was the most beautiful experience. She's my greatest teacher. Not to say I don't have human, um, challenges still with her because I do and she with me but there was such a clash such a fighting because she just wanted to be and express who she was and be accepted but yeah I was trying to change her to mold her into how society wanted me to mold her into how the teachers wanted her to be she went to normal school and I tried to fit her into that box and it was extremely extremely hard a great 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 um lesson for me, a great awakening. So when we have those challenging situations in life where we're resisting, it's telling us, hey, there's something we're believing, there's something we're trying to push through that we're not allowing, surrender. I didn't need to change Chantel. I didn't need to make her learn in the typical way. She was just, yeah, <laughs> that was, that was a huge, <laughs> huge uh, growth for both of us. So just surrender to the moment because when you keep fighting and keep resistance, you keep that conflict going. When all that is really, really required is acceptance, accepting the situation or accepting the person as they are, trusting that things truly are as they should be. Even if the human mind doesn't understand it, trusting that process. And in that trust, in that allowance, you allow the energies to flow. So here, say there was a little resistance here, but me allowing Chantel to be her and not reacting like I always did allows, look at the energy to flow, intermesh, and then it can bloom into something more beautiful, a more beautiful existence, a more beautiful reality, just in me allowing and understanding and not trying to push. I think all the children that are born nowadays that are having... Um, coming through with autism, Asperger's, learning disabilities, what have you, they're such great gifts because they are here to break the walls, to 
<laughs> to break through those boundaries. And instead of us trying to push them through a, a system to allow them to flow and allow us to open up and to become a more free flowing, energetic being that we are, but you know, in a higher frequency, operating in love, both operating in love and acceptance. So that we are in times of great, great change and it is so beautiful because when I look back when she was younger, oh my God, things were different. You know, the teachers, the systems, they are changing and they're changing for the better. And through that allowance, you allow it to be. You just uh, allow things to evolve. So that is what the uh, paragraph is today. It's uh, just telling us it's easy to surrender the, to those moments that bring pleasure because it is, because there is no surrendering required. But the things that we need to surrender to most are the moments that bring us discomfort. Things that bring us the discomfort are calling for our surrendering and allowance. And through that, that's how we transmute. That's how we transcend that energy, that energy of conflict. But that energy of conflict still was supposed to be too because that caused the greater expansion and finally got us to the point where we can allow. So today's message is just surrender. Surrender and allow. Surrender and allow. You need not change for others and they need, they need not change for you. It's just an acceptance and allowing each to bloom and express in, in the being and the divinity that they are. So hopefully this helps someone out there like it helps me. They're all just reminders. It's everything we already know. But sometimes when we take a little do a little checkpoint, it might remind us, oh yeah, it is easier for me to surrender to what I'm getting, duh, because there is no surrender, but it's not so easy for me to surrender to that challenging relationship, whether it be a child, a spouse, a friend, a mom, a dad, a friend, all of that. And it's only challenging because we're trying to change something through our limited expectations in the human mind. Let it go, let it go, breathe in, and just uh, let it go. So uh, thank you, everybody. Hopefully you all had a beautiful weekend. It was absolutely gorgeous here in Florida, beautiful outdoor weather. And um, hey, Kim, thank you for joining me. Just finishing up, <clears throat> doing my paragraph, random paragraphs now, just, you know, just picking one from the page, picking one from the book because it's uh, more fun for me and I don't know what to expect. And that's really how we are operating and moving towards is multi-dimension, not being, you know, so linear and, you know, so bang, bang, bang. We go through different things, we pick up different frequencies, so it only makes sense that we just choose and extract information that we need from wherever we are. Yes, great message to surrender. Yeah, at the beginning I was talking about my daughter and how challenging it was, but you know, the most beautiful gift ever. So, um, thank you, Kim, love you. Have a great day.